Are you planning to learn Microsoft Power BI? Here are a few things to know before you start learning. So in this world of social media and groups, you should look for some support. And that is where you have the Google Drive link, which includes all the materials, the data files, the templates you would need to start on Power BI. I'm going to show you in a minute. Then you can join this Facebook group. I'm going to show you a Facebook group which talks about Power BI. And then Telegram, again, you can join Telegram group and there are developers who can help you to learn Power BI or solve any questions, your problems. And then the, finally the YouTube playlist which is out there for you to learn. So there are a lot of materials over there on the internet and I'm going to show you all. So the first one is this, join the Power BI developers group. There are a lot of members still to join. I have just created the group. Uh, I'm going to add a lot of people now. And then this uh, Facebook group, which is Power BI Do It Yourself. It's a closed group. Obviously, you can join. And then there are a lot of members talk, talking about security, Power BI developing, how to learn, how to go about Power BI. And then you have the Google group, the Google Drive, which the link I mentioned it to you. First of all, you would see a lot of uh, files here. And then there is a Power BI detailed course plan. The link of the Google Drive is in the video description section of the video below. And if you open it, you would see the Facebook groups and the Telegram group link again here as well. But then you will have detailed plan on the 14 days. So you can learn Power BI in 14 days. So there are topics like getting started, architecture components, understanding visualizations, and just getting used to it till video number eight. And then on the day four, you would start implementing a project. So this course is designed towards implementing live projects, how you go about creating multiple database connections, creating snowflake schemas, star schemas, append queries, merge queries, uh, DAX calculations, iterative functions, what if analysis, then you talk about dashboard design pattern. This is something very interesting how to use the templates to create a dashboard design, then ask a question functionality, uh, tooltip visualizations, traffic light visualizations, bookmarks and toggle. So in next few days when you start training like till day 11th you would learn a lot of things about Power BI Cloud, Power BI free version, pro version, security, which is again taking important no roles. Uh, it will create, you also learn how to create a report in Power BI service, which is on the cloud. Then sharing and subscribing reports like uh, creating presentation sort of report, downloading in PowerPoint. Uh, Power BI reports can be downloaded on PowerPoint as well. Sharing your reports, subscribing to reports, printing the reports, generating QR codes, so you can generate QR codes of your reports. And then there are some advanced topics like web scraper modules, import versus direct query, that is live connection versus an extract, advanced PBI exploration, lots of hands-on. The video is not done yet, but we're in process to create it. By the time you reach here, you would definitely have that video. Then it talks about real-time streaming, machine learning, you know, bonus videos on machine learning, Azure Event Hub, and a lot of stuff. And then not only this, you will have SQL Handbook to get started. If you're interested in Azure, you will get Azure complete video and certification details as well. And then this file is used in the videos. Now in order to do the live project, uh, these are the files used here. These are the templates, architecture diagram, all the files, the databases, uh, the files where the projects have been created, everything is available on the Google Drive link. And then finally, you have this playlist, again, the YouTube playlist, which I mentioned in the presentation earlier. You have all the videos, you have live projects, and this is how you go one by one uh, achieving the results. And then you would need to know, uh, obviously the Google Drive, the Facebook, the Telegram, the YouTube, but then you should know the components as well. The top most important components are the Power BI desktop, which gives you the developer ability on your desktop to create reports and interactive charts and connections, the data model and everything. And the Power BI service, which is the cloud-based service where you would need to publish 
which is also known as powerbi.com or Power BI web portal and then finally you have uh, the report server or the gateway the gateway is the secured component which sits on your on-prem to connect the on-prem database to the cloud in a secured manner and then don't worry on the mobile apps and the report server and the embedded just desktop service and the gateway is good enough for you to get a lot of understanding in Power BI. Obviously in the architectural video which is the video number two on the YouTube series it talks about everything and finally uh, it will talk to you about the details architecture how it works anything about the line is on cloud below the line is on-prem you have the desktop you have the gateway and as well the Power BI service so how it connects how it works the entire working on Power BI architecture can be easily understood by those videos and finally you have to understand what are the options available on the cloud the first one is the Power BI free service there is no timeline or it's not a trial version it's free forever from a timing perspective but there are limitations a few limitations like no collaboration you cannot collaborate like share reports oh, and then the size limit is 2 gigs there are videos in this tutorials which can tell you how to avoid those 2 gig size, size limits by creating a direct mode connection so please watch those videos Power BI Pro version will have everything what you can get in free version but you will also get usage matrix you can get automatic refresh schedule which is not possible in the free version and then obviously uh, there are a lot of other data sets you can um, upload the premium doesn't have any limitations as compared to free and pro but it also supports uh, enhanced performance totally consumer based free licensing you can have multiple consumers obviously it depends upon your server capacity you can also have an on-prem server in the premium as well as APIs for custom application integration so APIs for customer app custom application integration this is what you need to know go get started with those videos uh, click on the Google Drive link Facebook telegram and YouTube and get started thank you for watching